This video demonstrates the combined procedure of uh, laparoscopic and uh, intrasmectoric resection for low rectal cancer. This procedure is pioneered by Eric Rollier, professor of surgery in Bordeaux. He divided the low rectal cancer into four types depending on the distance from the dentate line. This young lady has a type 2 anterior tumor shown here on the MRI to be two centimeters from the dentate line. The tumor was downstaged by long course chemo radiotherapy. Access was obtained by five laparoscopic ports as demonstrated. Medial to lateral dissection starts at the level of the inferior mesenteric vein just distal to the DJ flexure. The section continues laterally exposing the ureter towards the spleen and the splenic flexure. Further medial to lateral dissection continues at the level of the inferior mesenteric artery. It is essential that the ureter is well exposed and protected. The inferior mesenteric artery is skeletonized. The artery is controlled by hemolox. The inferior mesenteric vein is then controlled and divided. Then the sigmoid colon is mobilized from lateral to medial. Using a combination of uh, blunt and sharp dissection. The energy device used has a, a monopolar tip in addition to the bipolar uh, ligature technology. Lateral to medial dissection continues up, mobilizing the splenic flexure. The rectum is then mobilized in the TME planes.
adequate traction and counter traction are provided through the left iliac fossa and suprapubic ports. The peritoneal reflection is then divided anterior to the rectum. TME dissection continues down to the pelvic floor. The laparoscopic dissection continues into the intrasphincteric plane by dividing the recto coccygeus fibers from the abdominal side. The transanal dissection is facilitated by a lone star retractor. The rectum is divided above the dentate line. The rectum is resected in the intraspectoric plane communicating with the abdominal approach. Once the dissection is completed, the rectum is extracted transanally. The specimen is extracted and divided at the proximal resection margin. The colon prepared for the anastomosis, ensuring no tension and good blood supply to the edge. The colon is then sutured to the dentate line with a hand sewn coloanal anastomosis. The colon is rechecked for tension and orientation. A tube drain is then inserted through the left iliac fossa port and placed in the pelvis. The defunctioning loop ileostomy is performed in the right iliac fossa and the wounds closed.